Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Nikola and Hyzon Motors are both key players in the hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle FCEV, market, which has garnered increasing attention as the world shifts toward zero-emission transportation solutions. However, despite being in the same sector, these two companies have taken somewhat different approaches in their development paths, business strategies, and technological focuses. Nikola Corporation was founded with a vision to transform the trucking industry by developing both hydrogen fuel cell trucks and battery electric vehicles BEVs. One of its flagship products is the Class 8 hydrogen fuel cell truck, aimed at long-haul freight transportation. In 2024, Nikola made headlines by delivering the first production hydrogen fuel cell trucks in North America. This delivery marked a significant milestone for the company, which had been dealing with numerous challenges over the past few years, including leadership changes, a major recall of its battery electric trucks, and issues with supply chain disruptions. Nikola's product strategy involves two main streams, hydrogen fuel cell trucks and battery electric vehicles. The Nikola tray is offered in both a BEV version and a hydrogen fuel cell version, giving the company flexibility in catering to different segments of the commercial transportation market. This dual approach is part of Nikola's plan to address both short-range and long-range freight needs, with the BEV trucks ideal for shorter routes and the hydrogen fuel cell trucks designed for long-haul routes that require rapid refueling. Hyzon Motors, on the other hand, has maintained a singular focus on hydrogen fuel cell technology. Founded in 2020, Hyzon's mission is to lead the world in the deployment of hydrogen-powered commercial vehicles, especially in the heavy-duty trucking sector. Unlike Nikola, which is diversified into battery electric technology, Hyzon has chosen to concentrate all its efforts on developing high-performance hydrogen fuel cells. The company has been making strides in the development of its Class 8 plus 200 kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell trucks, which are targeted primarily at the logistics and freight industries. Hyzon is expanding its footprint internationally, with operations not just in North America but also in Europe, Asia, and Australia. This global outlook aligns with its long-term strategy to capture market share in regions where governments are heavily investing in hydrogen infrastructure. Hyzon's approach to manufacturing involves working with local partners in key markets, which allows the company to scale production while minimizing capital expenditure. A significant difference between Nikola and Hyzon Motors lies in their technological focus. While Nikola splits its attention between hydrogen fuel cells and battery electric technology, Hyzon is entirely committed to fuel cells. Nikola's decision to pursue both technologies is driven by its ambition to offer a full suite of zero-emission solutions for different transportation needs. Battery electric trucks, like the BEV version of the Nikola tray, are well suited for shorter routes where charging infrastructure is more readily available. On the other hand, hydrogen fuel cell trucks are more appropriate for long-haul journeys because of their faster refueling times and extended driving range. Hyzon's dedication to hydrogen fuel cell technology sets it apart as a specialist in this area. The company has developed fuel cells that are claimed to have higher power density and efficiency than many of its competitors. These technological advancements give Hyzon a potential edge in the market, particularly in regions that are focusing on hydrogen as a key component of their decarbonization strategies. Hyzon's trucks are designed with long-haul logistics in mind, where fuel cells offer significant advantages over batteries due to the time and energy constraints of charging. Nikola has made progress in bringing its vehicles to market, especially with its Trey hydrogen fuel cell truck, which has been delivered to customers in the US. One of Nikola's key achievements in 2024 was securing 99.9% .9 of California's VIP vouchers for hydrogen trucks, indicating strong demand for its vehicles in one of the largest trucking markets in the world. Despite this success, Nikola has faced production delays and challenges, particularly with the recall of its battery electric trucks. However, the company has been working to retrofit these vehicles and reintroduce them to the market later in 2024. Hyzon Motors, while newer to the market, is ramping up its production capabilities and expanding its presence internationally. Unlike Nikola, which operates largely in the US, Hyzon has a broader global focus, with operations in Europe, Asia, and Australia. 
This international strategy positions Hyzon to benefit from the increasing adoption of hydrogen technology in regions that are heavily investing in hydrogen infrastructure. Hyzon has signed several key agreements with fleet operators in these regions, and it plans to scale production significantly over the next few years. Both companies have struggled financially in recent years, as is common for startups in the capital-intensive clean energy sector. However, there are notable differences in their financial trajectories. Nikola, despite its recent product deliveries, has experienced substantial losses. In 2023, the company posted a net loss of $966 million, which represented a widening from its previous year's losses. The recall of its BEV trucks also put a dent in its financial performance, although Nikola has worked to reduce its net losses in the final quarter of 2023. Hyzon Motors, while facing its own financial challenges, is seen as a more promising long-term investment by some analysts due to its focused business model and industry-leading fuel cell technology. Although Hyzon has yet to generate substantial revenues, it has a clearer path to profitability, particularly as hydrogen infrastructure continues to expand globally. Hyzon's ability to deliver on its production targets and secure long-term contracts with fleet operators will be key to its financial success. Looking ahead, both Nikola and Hyzon Motors have significant potential, but their paths to success will depend on different factors. For Nikola, the key will be overcoming its past challenges with production and scaling up its hydrogen infrastructure to support its dual product lines. Nikola's diversified approach, offering both BEV and hydrogen fuel cell trucks, gives it flexibility in a market that is still evolving. However, this could also prove to be a disadvantage if the company is unable to manage the complexities of two different technologies. Hyzon's long-term success hinges on its ability to remain at the forefront of hydrogen fuel cell technology. Its focus on heavy-duty hydrogen trucks and its global expansion strategy align with growing global investment in hydrogen infrastructure. If Hyzon can deliver on its promise of producing more efficient fuel cells and scaling production, it stands to become a leader in the hydrogen-powered transportation market. In conclusion, both Nikola and Hyzon Motors are significant players in the hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle market but they are taking different approaches to capture market share. Nikola is working to balance its focus between hydrogen and battery electric technologies, while Hyzon is positioning itself as a specialist in hydrogen fuel cell technology. Both companies face financial and production challenges, but they also have significant potential as the global transition to zero emission transportation accelerates. Whether one company will ultimately outperform the other will depend on their ability to scale production, secure key partnerships, and deliver innovative technology to the market. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.